the web is humanity connected. Uh, it's the most powerful information construct humanity has ever built. It allows us to connect and abolish the tyranny of scale and distance. It's the technology that enables us to access files from any computer that's connected to the internet around the world. And when it started, that's how we thought of it, that it was a hypermedia system that enabled you to easily click on a link which would download a file from whichever computer that file was on um, and read it on your screen. Quite a breakthrough. We realise now it's a lot more than that. The web originated really out of a deep sense of frustration. Tim Berners-Lee was working at, at CERN. He was actually working on a really obvious problem, which was how could you get all of the online documentation that existed in all sorts of different computer systems to link to one another? Everyone was searching for the ubiquitous hypermedia system. And it was Tim who brought those ideas together to create the protocols of HTML and HTTP that are the foundation of the web. And he imagined a system which would connect all of that documentation together. And he had a background in a technology called hypertext. And so he put together a memo, uh, sent it to his boss, and it didn't get any response. A few months went by, Tim went back to his boss and said, uh, did you get the memo? Submitted it again anyway, crossed out the date. And that second version uh, was discovered recently. And, and in the top right-hand corner, there's a little handwritten note that says, vague but exciting. And of course, the web didn't exist at that point, but Mike Sandel could see the promise. And when Tim gave us the first system, the first web server that was put up in CERN 1990, and as it then took on, went viral, more and more people putting their web servers online, you could begin to see the power of the idea. He could see uh, what others, including myself, couldn't about how ubiquity was everything and so getting everybody in the world to use the system was what was going to make it powerful. And it was partly his drive and his perseverance that meant the web was adopted when other systems that were out there weren't. The web's everywhere in our lives. It's in how we buy, shop, travel, educate ourselves, take our health, everything managed through the agency of the web. So it's everywhere, it's pervasive, and like all things that are pervasive or ubiquitous, it kind of gets created, taken for granted. So one of the fundamental uh, propositions of web science is to stand back and say, this extraordinary construct exists, we need to understand it, we cannot take it for granted. Well, of course, it's changed everything about our world and is still doing so. And the reason that we uh, came up with the idea of the new discipline of web science was because it isn't just about the technology, it's about what people do with the technology. And what emerged over the last 10 years or so is that the web is changing us, it's changing society, but we change the web because it's our web. It grows, it evolves because we put content onto it. If you look at the way the web has impacted our lives, you can't find an area where it hasn't had an impact. It has become, in a very short space of time, uh, a fundamental in our lives. And the scary thing about that is, imagine if it wasn't there tomorrow. <laughs>